Bomb cyclone? What's that? Who cares? It made the whole country super cold. But if you're lucky enough to have a Bitcoin miner at home, I'm gonna show you the simplest way to heat your whole house with it without having to cut into your central air ducting and without just making whatever room it's sitting in super hot without heating the rest of the house. Well, as long as you have central air ducting, I guess this doesn't work if you have one of those cool old houses from the 1800s that uses radiators. Fun fact, your central air conditioner is made up primarily of two parts. Your heat exchanger and compressor outside and your air handler, another heat exchanger inside. Actually, AC systems are super simple and it's kind of interesting the way they work. That could be another video all by itself, but in essence, your AC doesn't make cold air, but rather it removes the heat from the existing air and dumps it outside. Anyway, we're not gonna use the AC part, it's cold. We just wanna make use of the giant fan that lives in here and circulates air all throughout the house. Mine is in a really inconvenient spot in my house. Hopefully yours is in a basement or in a laundry room or something out of the way. Mine is in the main hallway between the living room and the bedrooms, not ideal. Nevertheless, here's what we're doing. At your air handler, probably over by where your thermostat is, usually at your air handler, maybe in newer houses they do a better job of like, pulling air from a bunch of different places, but whatever, find your intake panel. That'll be the spot in your house where you swap out your air filters that you definitely routinely change on a regular basis like a responsible homeowner. I have a dog, he's a good boy, but he also puts a lot of hair in there. Using the system I assembled to heat Joe's garage and also to quiet down all my Bitcoin miners at the warehouse, this 3D printed shroud allows you to replace the four high RPM, pretty noisy fans that come with the Bitcoin miner and instead use this large, slower RPM, sleek inline fan and these four little chippies that make the miner think that it's running the way Bitmain intended. Sidebar, Bitmain, it's time for a redesign. This is way quieter and way cooler. It also allows you to send the hot air where you want it to go, and I want it to go into this vent. Normally, this vent will pull in the air from your house and keep recirculating it over a radiator that has chilled coolant in it. That radiator then absorbs the heat from the air that's going across it and brings that heat outside through the coolant and passes through another radiator to release it into the air, leaving you with cooler air that is then distributed to all the ducts throughout your house. But you can tell this whole system to run without the AC compressor. That's the part that makes things cold. So then it's just circulating the air through your house. It's pulling the air in through this vent and it's pushing it back out through all the vents in the different rooms of your house. What that means is that whatever air enters this vent will come out in every room in the house somewhat evenly. Clear camera, as you can clearly see, I'm pumping hot Bitcoin -y air into the air intake. And then if we go out into the living room, look at that. Look at that hot vent. I mean, it's not that hot, but it's putting out 71 degrees, 72 degrees. Here's the kitchen one. We go into the bedroom. Beauty. 71 and a half degrees. We'll go into Billy's room. Where is his vent? Look at that. Hot vents. So, with just one Bitcoin miner, maybe two if you live up north right now where it's evidently colder than zero degrees Fahrenheit, you can send hot air all throughout your house. And because of the replacement fan, it won't be all that loud. It may be a bit inconvenient if your AC intake is at literally the center of the house like mine is, but behind any closed door, it should still be silent anyway. I'm gonna pull power for my Bitcoin miner off my water heater. Your water heater, your clothes dryer, and your stove will all have the necessary 240 volts of electricity that you'll need to make this thing run if you're in the US. If you're in the UK, I think everything's 240 or 220 or whatever, but it would work. You just have to make sure your breaker's big enough. I upgraded our water heater to a heat pump water heater that operates off of basically a little reverse air conditioner. Actually, not reverse. It does the same thing as your home AC does, except instead of pumping the heat to the outside, it puts it down into the water in the tank. And then as a byproduct of this process, it pumps out cold air out the top of the water heater. The whole thing runs on like 300 watts, so I have plenty of extra room on that breaker to run an S19. Looking on ASICminerValue.com, I see that this S19J Pro 100 terahash will cost about $2 dollars and 46 cents per day to run. Which on its face means that as far as BTC is concerned, it'd be a better value just to buy the coins than to run this miner. This is because my electrical cost is like 12 cents per kilowatt hour. Not a good place to mine. But when you average how much it costs to heat a house, the overall national average for heating a house is apparently 0.000498 dollars per square foot per hour. So my little 1400 square foot house will apparently cost about 16 bucks a day to heat. Which means it's almost eight times cheaper to heat your house with a Bitcoin miner than it is with any conventional heating method. And the byproduct of doing this is a passive investment in Bitcoin. Now that the price of Bitcoin has gone so low, buying a Bitcoin miner is cheaper than buying a furnace. So really, and it sounds insane compared to just last year when these things were like $11,000 a piece, but really, 
every house, every building north of the Florida Georgia line should really have a Bitcoin miner in the basement. The numbers really do make sense at the moment. I have a trusted, vetted source for these machines if you've been on the fence about buying the hardware. There's a link near the top of the description below for their contact information. It's Musk Miners. If you're gonna hardwire everything yourself and just lay the cables across the floor, this is a wildly unsafe process if you have children or pets. So don't be like me. Ideally, your air intake would be in your basement or in the laundry room or someplace you can lock a door. You don't want your kid or some animal investigating this wiring too closely. I definitely wouldn't normally wire it like this. Of course, Sarah wouldn't just be cool with wiring going all over the floor and a Bitcoin miner blocking the hallway. But it's freezing down here today in Orlando. We woke up and it was 32 degrees. Our house doesn't even have a heater. We don't ever need one. There's like three days of winter every year. And this psycho bomb cyclone thing is only gonna last for another couple of days, at least down here. Sorry about the rest of you. Merry Christmas. Bitcoin. Heat in your house.